Hello again. Our very first story for the afternoon and the Ghana Airport Company has expanded its infrastructure to accommodate 50%, 50% more passengers. Over 960,000 people used to air, used air transport by September. The managing director of the airport company, Charles Asari, says the domestic business has increased and will need a massive infrastructural development in 2015. The first quarter of 2014 saw 582,339 passengers using the country's airports. International flights formed more than 65% of the numbers. Between April and June, the passengers' throughput dropped significantly to 193,749. There was a further decline in figures to 181,700. 111 in the third quarter. It's not clear why the decline in numbers, but the outbreak of Ebola in the West African region is believed to have contributed. The Ghana Airport Company says the numbers increased during the Christmas season. The arrival hall has therefore been expanded to accommodate future increments by some 50 percent. And the first phase was to get the arrival hall done for Christmas. Because last Christmas was a very bad experience. The number of people traveling to the airport, through the airport, had grown to the extent that the existing capacity couldn't handle it. So we took the space above the former VIP parking lot to construct a terminal extension. We are moving the terminal all the way to the road edge. That adds another 50% capacity. Two more carousels for the baggage section are expected to be added while all toilet facilities at the Kotoka International Airport have been refurbished. A new lift has been constructed together with an escalator. Managing director of the airport company says the current numbers coming from the domestic section will require attention to. The next phase is um, to address the domestic airport of both Accra and Kumasi to try to make it more comfortable for passengers. The domestic travel has boomed beyond the airport's um, projection. The various airports have so far seen expansions on their runways.